Hey guys, Dustin Knight here with uh, TechMD, uh, just doing mobile repairs. We've got a bunch of technicians out in Utah doing uh, mobile repairs where we come out to people's homes. And they also can come into the office. Um, anyways, so just did my fourth iPhone 7. I've done two pluses and two sevens. And I have to say that if you're not extremely careful with repairing these phones, <laughs> you're gonna break them. Actually, the very first one I opened, I broke um, uh, the 3D touch cable, which caused all kinds of headache. Um, but fortunately for me, I have full uh, assemblies and displays because I bought around 25 iPhone 7 and 7 Pluses so I can meet demand on the repairs because no one can do it, including Apple. I don't even think they have the parts right now for it. So, anyways, when doing the repairs, I don't think any of the repair videos out there do it justice on um, how to do it properly. I plan on making a video eventually, but I've been very, very busy we're doing uh, just me alone. I've been doing 15 plus repairs a day. Uh, by the way, this is recorded on iPhone 7 front camera. Um, but yeah, just been doing a ton of uh, repairs nonstop and keeping really, really busy. And that's why I haven't really made too many videos for the YouTube channel. I have a couple that I've been needing to post, but um, I just need to get more technicians to help me out out here. Um, but I can't, I can't always. Uh, just hire a technician it's hard to get a good one anyways so yeah the iPhone 7 it's you know really glued down and to remove the top part of the uh, the screen itself is quite challenging and quite nerve-wracking because if you lift up the screen uh, just right you'll ruin some cables and it's it's really frustrating when you obviously do that if you're not really careful with that delicate home button you're screwed too because um, when I ruined the first 3D touch cable it was his so I just like oh I'll just swap the whole assembly with the button and all right to make it fast and easy well it didn't work so we did um, of course the factory reset thinking it would work and it did not um, although the iOS 010 does it a little bit different when we click factory reset it just said updating and then restoring and just bizarre it, would, it just didn't do it like it normally does where you see the apple logo it just said restoring so not sure what was going on there but either way the home button did not work until i put the original home button back in and then that worked so if you break that home button there might be a possibility of not being able to retrieve and get that working um the the button itself doesn't work so you can't click the button to upgrade uh, and the um, the Touch ID obviously doesn't work either, so it's all integrated. If that makes sense, um, there's no depress obviously on the iPhone 7. Uh, so these are some of the troubles I ran into. Just the adhesive is really really strong, and uh, just tough to cut into, and remove the display off the iPhone 7 is quite a challenge. Just to do. Um, you know, opening it up, opening, uh, taking off the four uh, screws and the two screws up top and then switching the home button is, just to do that is probably a, a good 10 minutes of work. And then, you know, if you're pulling it off a brand new phone, then you got another 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes putting it all back together, pretty much everything else. So it's roughly uh, just for the customer with a full assembly and not removing all the screws, you're looking at at least a 15 minute repair, um, at least, and, and that's me doing it, and I'm fast. Not everyone is as fast as I am, and you know, so expect some definite good times, so make sure you include your labor into that. Um, and just remember, these displays are really expensive. I do plan on having these uh, refurbished professionally very soon. Please contact me if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus uh, displays that you need refurbished. Uh, currently, we can refurbish your iPhone 6S and 6S Plus back to original for 55 and 40. So if you're interested, let me know. 
Um, I don't have prices on the seven yet, but the sevens will be very soon, and I plan on putting the pricing down below. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like or subscribe. Uh, I plan on making some more videos, and obviously, um, the proper way of doing the iPhone seven repair. I'm uh, still get my feet wet and instead of just diving into a brand new phone not knowing what I'm doing and making mistakes on video I'd rather get some experience in so I can know what I'm talking about the very first iPhone 7 required uh, a tool that I did not have I couldn't find it anywhere I could only find it on um, in the iFixit toolbox um, China had a couple individual screwdrivers which that's what I like doing it's really nice and handy I don't like big driver bit sets but I had to buy it uh, from uh, iFixit and it, and then I had to overnight it so it was like 70 bucks it was stupid expensive um, so don't make the same point uh, uh, problem as me um, I don't see, I haven't seen any videos that have mentioned what kind of driver you need but you need a tri point uh, screwdriver now this tri point is y000 triple zero um, so it's also I guess considered a tri wing but just super tiny screws um, Apple's just trying to make it more and more of a hassle to uh, get in their phones and whatnot but if you guys really really want to see a video I'd like to see a lot of likes on this video and you know ask me in the video uh, down below and I'll consider making one but I don't know if there's really the demands. That's another problem with YouTube, is there's so many other guys doing this kind of stuff. You know, I'm just trying to create a network of technicians and uh, you know, to help each other out. But we'll see. Anyways, I'm to my destination. I'm done rambling on. You guys have a good one. This is Dustin, have, see ya.